What's up guys, Low Riding Gorilla here, and we're back for a new series. This time we're going to be taking a look at Euro Truck Simulator again. I've been playing this game on my own. This is a different profile than the one I've been using, that's why it's a little bit lower leveled. But this one I'm using a good bit more mods than I did on my other profile. The main ones I'm going to be looking at today and showing y'all would be uh, Pro Mods, the map mod. It's at version 183 now when I'm recording it and they've done a lot to improve this map and now it's 1.15 uh, capable and the issue it was run into at 181 was the uh, small dealerships when SCS switched over to small dealership style it caused it to want to look for the old dealership file which doesn't exist anymore if you're running 115 and I'm running a few truck mods right now you're seeing it on the screen the Scania T-Cab this is a uh, RJL mod and I really like this mod this truck has tons of features and really a good driving truck the only issue I ran into which is a known issue that even he posted when he posted this version of the truck which I believe is 1.5 and that's an issue it has with tolls, but any long nose truck on the game is going to have issues with tolls, especially around France. But I'm going to try it out on this Pro Mods. I haven't had a problem with it yet, but if I do, we'll see. But first, I'll uh, we'll go ahead and pop over to a truck dealership, which we'll go to the Scania dealership, which I believe is right here. And I'll show y'all this truck and just keep in mind this profile I'm using for the recordings. It has a lot less uh, items unlocked, but there's a lot more as well as the uh, extended cab back, larger sleeper and everything like that. But right now, as you can see, I have the normal cab, the normal with spoiler, the Highline, and the Highline spoiler, which I actually kind of like but I um, don't have the money right now to spend on it. I've been paying off the loans on this profile. And also I have the 6.2 chassis, which is the basically standard truck right there. And engines, a good bit of engines so far. The uh, 340, 360, 380, 420, and the 400. And transmissions, the 925 and the 925 with the retarder. Uh, interiors, they have a quite a lot of interiors the biggest thing being they have the variations of the regular scanny rs but they have it with the vavis wheel and as you can see there's quite a lot paint jobs like normal with a few extra ones but see there's a lot of stuff like the one thing i'm looking at is a stone card which i like it i mean it's not really what i want to put on my truck but i like that they add that you got visors and everything like that and also I'm running a couple uh, cosmetic mods 50k and stuff like that I know a lot of them are already included on the TCAB, but there may be a couple more that I have showing up that may not show up in just the RJL uh, TCAB file uh, the headlights which I like there's a lot of customizable ones uh, the H4s the H7s the streamlines which I really like and I really love the headlights in this game and if we go out and it's dark then I'll definitely show that uh, fenders your flares you can change the color there and I mean you can change everything the stairs there's two different types of steps you can do you can change the air hose connectors uh, you put high pipes on if you want then you got your skirts which none of mine are unlocked right now on this profile um, but you can do this, which I really like, which is uh, you can adjust the fenders individually. And on some of the trucks, if you're running a larger wheel set, like an 8x4 or something like that, you can actually adjust the flares in between the wheels themselves. But for the most part, really awesome truck. On one of my next ones, I'll show some of the other trucks I have. Um, I have a couple Peterbilts and stuff like that. A couple long nose American trucks that I'll be happy to show off. But for now, I'm going to use this because that's what I have set up. I'm going to go ahead and exit the truck dealer. And I'm going to show you a little bit about the map, this new Pro Mods. I know they added a lot in 181. And basically 183 was just kind of like a hot fix, which they just updated a lot of the issues that were resulting around. And they made it cap capable of running with 115, which is great because 115 adds... A few more features to the game trailer breaks stuff like that which aren't major updates but 
for the most part it's great to have just for the in-depthness of the game but I know the biggest thing they added in 181 which is the same in 183 is uh, they added a few more Italian cities I know they added uh, Genova Modena uh, I think they added oh, that's Geneve um, but right in here they added a few more cities I'm not sure I don't have my list popped up right now but <laughs> they added a few Italian cities and then I know they updated quite a lot but I mean right away you can see such a difference from the stock map one there's a thousand more roads in it and also probably twice as many cities if not more and you also have Scandinavia up here I mean all the way up here I mean Denmark uh, Sweden Norway I mean everything and uh but I mean that's it but what I'm gonna go ahead and do though is we'll go ahead and run a short load just so I can show y'all some of the uh, I guess graphical differences of the game and we're gonna go ahead and pick a short load from where we are right now in Luxembourg where my place is and let's go ahead and pick a short load and see what we got I mean the shortest load right now I got is Luxembourg and Newcastle but you know what yeah let's haul some candy pick up a 55,000 pound load of candy going from Luxembourg to Munchen. Sorry if my pronunciation is bad, but hey, at least I tried. I don't think I butchered it too, too bad. But anyway, we'll go ahead and start this truck up and we'll go ahead and hand my guys already tired, which is great, but we'll be all right. But we're going to go ahead and back out here. I probably could just go around the building but I mean right now you can already see Luxembourg looks a lot cleaner the graphics look a little bit crisper I'm running on ultra settings and I mean it looks really well and as for this truck this truck's actually a very well done truck by RJL and I enjoy it I enjoy how it drives it looks good handles right and we're gonna go ahead and pull out in the traffic and as you can see I got my fuzzy dice and my air freshener as well but we're gonna head over here I think we're heading over to UPS which leads me to the other mod I'm running right now which is the Jazzy Cat trailer packs which are absolutely phenomenal and I've been running them for a while and I use them always that's just because it adds uh, realistic shipping receivings as well as more trailers which you can see some of them right now driving around and I'm running the uh, truck pack too which changes the, uh, the single trucks without trailers just the van trailers or uh, box trucks sorry for my confusion there and also I'm running the AI traffic pack which adds realistic cars as you can see right here Looks like we have a BMW and a Peugeot. And we're gonna pull up to the light and wait. And as you can see, we'll take a look. And the traffic's going again, but you can see our shipping office right there, UPS. Always friendly UPS. And we're gonna go ahead and pull in here now and pick up our load. And this car is gonna let us go, so we're gonna pop in here real quick. Of course, we're not taking the UPS trailer. I think we're picking up this other trailer. Yep, the candy, 55,000 pounds. That one's going to Colton. That's a 500 mile trip. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll take this load. As you can see, I try and play the game as close to realistic as possible. My real life career is in fact a truck driver, so go figure. But we're hooked up, as you can see, looks really good with the trailer. Trailer looks really good, Jazzy Cats as always. And we're going to go ahead and head out on here.
Hopefully we can merge out of the traffic. And the reason I use Luxembourg is a lot of people, I'm sure, use it because it's more preferred areas or anything. Is I like Luxembourg's central area to everything. It doesn't always have the best loads coming out of it if you're working out of your home hub. But for the most part, I really like it. And as you can see, a couple trailers up there. Again, Jazzy Cat to our left. You can see one of these uh, van uh, box trucks. Another one coming up along us with the Pepsi logo on there. Looks absolutely amazing. And some people right now may be getting driven nuts by the fact I'm following the laws, but I enjoy to do it on the game. I have fines turned off. Only reason being is the AI in the game. <laughs> the AI in the game is notorious for giving you accidents, for just ramming into you at the most inopportune times. And if you have fines turned on, it can become a quick annoyance when you're paying I think it's 700 euros every single time they decide to ram into you it's automatically your fault but eh, we'll make do with it and we're gonna go ahead and get out of this city and unfortunately I don't have any music in I'll probably add some in post edit just for the ambience of it but I think we'll be alright but we're going to continue this. I'm probably going to record this whole entire run. And yeah. So this will probably be, I'm guessing, a two parts. This is a 500 mile run up to Denmark. It will take a little bit of time, but I think we can get it in the two part videos. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Be sure to comment down below if you'd like me to check out any mods that I may have not covered in this video. I have a few more planned to show off in a separate little showcase series. But as always guys, like the video if you like it. Comments are always appreciated and subscriptions definitely help me grow. So thanks guys. Bye.